The media today discusses the thorny question of whether the, quote, special relationship between Britain and America has been damaged. Who cares? I really don't think the world cares if Britain is Washington's favourite lapdog or not. I don't even think the British people care. US President Joe Biden rejected pleas from the UK for the humanitarian airlift to continue beyond the 31st of August. That's a piece about Afghanistan in the UK Guardian this morning. Wait a minute, it wasn't Biden who said there would be no extension after the 31st of August. It was the Taliban. They are telling the world's richest countries what they can and cannot do. Let's get it right. And what humanitarian airlift? The US is occupying the airport of the people of Afghanistan and using it to evacuate foreign nationals and friends of foreign nationals. They have lists of them. Your ordinary resident of Afghanistan is not on those lists. The Taliban spokesman said that the people of the country would be immeasurably harmed if the rich countries take out all the engineers and people like that, the folk who can keep the water and the electricity flowing. Now, that makes sense to me. It's the rich nations who are standing to create a humanitarian crisis. Meanwhile, a former Royal Marine named Paul Farthing arranged a privately funded plane to evacuate 200 cats and dogs from Afghanistan, but is furious after being denied a time slot to use the airport runway. A British evacuation organiser said, I have to prioritise people at the moment over pets. The implied order is foreign nationals, friends of foreign nationals, and then pets. The ordinary people of the country are not on any list. There's also endless discussion about which European countries will end up with how many refugees. This is ridiculous. As we know from the past, refugees from Afghanistan head for Pakistan and Iran. On that topic, the British have kindly offered refugee status to 5,000 people from Afghanistan this year. The same government has offered 5.4 million places to Hong Kong people to escape from nightmare scenes like this. The world has officially gone mad. Goodbye.